you guys ready for a brand new Gymshark Seamless collection? It's the Mad Seamless. Not the Apex, or is it? I know a lot of people, when I was teasing this collection, a lot of you guys were like, that's new Apex, oh my God, finally, new Apex is coming. Yes, been waiting for it. To be very clear with you guys, I have not heard anybody call it the Apex internally. Like within the Gymshark team, my connections to Gymshark, it's only been called the Magicard. And they claim that it's a new seamless collection meant to give you superhero vibes. But there's no doubt that it's very reminiscent of the Apex collection that we all love. At least I do. What does MAD actually stand for? That's my question. I believe it stands for maybe Apex? Dunno. So we're here to talk about it. We're here to actually compare to see how similar it is to the Apex or what other collections you can expect it to be similar to. You can expect a full in-depth gym test in these leggings. So here I have the pink that they're dropping. How pretty is this pink? I also have them in the shorts and I also have a black pair as well. I know a lot of you guys love your staple black leggings so I'm glad I managed to grab one of these as well. Now, they are dropping tops and they're really freaking nice looking too, but I haven't received any yet. Bummer. I'm actually really bummed because I was excited for the short sleeve tops. They're like full length, short sleeve, and the best part is the contour matches the bum contour here, which if you look closely, it's a heart. But I did not want to keep you guys waiting because these are all dropping on June 6th. Have you guys heard about the big Gymshark drop on June 6th? If you haven't, well, I'm glad you're here. You're in the right place. They're dropping mad pieces, new collections. We're looking at the Blur Seamless, which is coming up next. Brand new shorts. If you haven't checked out my Gymshark shorts haul, definitely check it out. Tons of new summer shorts dropping. Power, we got that cheetah print in the Power collection. The Activate Seamless, I just did a review on that, so check it out. And a ton of lifting baddie graphics, bunch of pump covers, cute accessories and things like that. So major drop happening June 6th. And of course, as always, I do have my code Ashley G. Saves you 10% off of all your Gymshark orders. Help support this channel as well. So I really thank you guys if you choose to support this channel. Thank you so much to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video and sending these pieces out my way for my honest review. Mm. Now, I actually teased this on Instagram stories. Y'all went buck wild. I actually had paired it with the Peekaboo sports bra in the pink color that's like all but sold out right now, of course. So let's first do the eyeball test. What the heck are we expecting in terms of aesthetic with this legging? Then we're gonna run it through the ringer. You know how we do on this channel. Test it on the treadmill, lift some weights in it, do the whole nine so we can test compression, support, cellulite, you name it, sweat test. We're doing all of it. Squat test, of course, that comes too. In case you have questions on what this sports bra is, it's the ruched strappy bra, AKA my new favorite. I got it in the white color. Look at that freaking backing. Yes, please. I love the ruched sports bra. You know, it made it to my top five Gymshark sports bras of all time. Recently, I don't know if you saw my video where I explained that they created the ruched bra, but with an extra cute backing and a little bit more minimal up front. So it's not so bulky. It doesn't even come with bra pads, but you can insert if you want. Love this, true size is great, size up if in between. You know what, it's the cheapest way to get a breast enhancement and um, for that, thank you so much, Gymshark. I'm gonna keep repping this one. First and foremost, we need to talk design. Start with the waistband. You got a lot of action on this thick ribby. All right, thick ribbed waistband, very definitive contour lines. So it's a dark pink on this pale pink color. It's not too pale pink, but you know what I'm saying. Then you have these contour lines that run down. You have different types of textures. This is called the Magicard, so you can absolutely feel this pattern. So not only is it contouring around your leg, but I do feel like when I put these on, you can feel a tad bit more support in these specific areas, so right around the quad. They added in contour lines that go around the upper glutes and back around. If you look closely, the shape tears down and it really looks like your bum is a heart. I think they nailed this design because you know what? Your bum kind of does look like the shape of a heart sometimes, doesn't it? It's a mixture of the apex where it had the really dark contour lines mixed with the dotted contour of say the vital. So it has a really nice mixture. I actually really love this panel right here. If you look closely, they mixed it up and added in some striped 
some 3D ribbing right here, and some dotted contour within. So everywhere you look, there's something going on here. But then again, they still kept a lot of the solid as well. So it's not too, too overwhelming, but it definitely gives that superhero vibe. And there's no printed logo here. This is actually sewn within, just like the rest of this jacquard contour. So this is actually a little bit textured, sewn within. You don't have to worry about any logos peeling. I love that they did that. They didn't really miss a beat here with this legging, even on the ankle. I mean, this legging is a little long on me as usual, but check out this cute little stripe ribbing. Like, are you joking? If you guys know me and you watch this channel, I love the superhero leggings. When they come out with powerful leggings like this, like statement leggings, I'm all about it. I get so excited. So design-wise, 10 out of 10. Something I'm grateful for is the fact that this is not overly compressive. This is a moderate compression. Given that it's a boxy waistband, there's no tearing, no tapering, no cinching. You can tell right at the top here, there's a breakup on the ribbing. Almost looks like a tear, almost as if this would have a different compression than the rest of the band, but it does not. This is a very boxy ribbed, thick waistband. So I'm not spilling out over the sides here. It's a very comfortable waistband. I would definitely give this a moderate compression throughout. It almost wants to be on the higher end, specifically right around these contoured areas. Now, the only thing I'm gonna be nitpicky about with this legging, there's no scrunch bump, so there's no help back there. It does give a slight uni butt. I really did try to ride these up. I tried my best that I could. Just, mm, you know how it is. We gotta work for things once in a while, girl. And to be honest with you, it helped ever so slightly, but then pulling this material up just created extra wrinkle behind the knee didn't look too good. So I had to just readjust, let it lie naturally, and then incoming came the uni butt. So I know there's a lot going on throughout the legging. I wish they would have focalized a little more on glute separation. a lot of support around the legs. <laughs> Believe it or not, the least amount of support I felt was the waistband. When I ran, I really picked up the pace. I started feeling as, as my hips were going back and forth, slowly felt like a little baby shift where it wasn't as high as I had them before. Surprisingly pretty cellulite friendly. I wasn't expecting that to be honest with you, especially with this light of a pink color. I'm not gonna say it's 100% cellulite friendly, but it's pretty good. I do feel like because there's a uni butt right here, as I was running intensely, I feel like this seam breakup was slowly shifting because I started feeling the band shift a little bit. So I feel like everything was slowly shifting around back there. I don't know if you guys caught on to that. So if you're really doing some intense running, like 20, 30 minute cardio sessions, that might shift around. You might have to do some readjusting. I do think overall, when it comes to leg support, spot on, but I do feel like this waistband, as much as I love it, it didn't give me the support I need when running. So be mindful if you're looking to use this for cardio. However, what I feel like this is most used for, lifting them weights, being a freaking superhero badass bitch that you is, that's what this is for. By the way, in case you're wondering what this actual legging feels like, not talking the textured jacquard, just the rest of the legging, this feels very soft and similar to the everyday seamless. That's what it felt like. The material is most similar to, you know, the new camo, that new adapt animal print. That's the same exact, almost the same exact material, but just picture having less texture. The animal print and the camo, that's pure jacquard, 100% over the legging. This has more of a smoothness on the base solid parts, but essentially made out of the same types of materials. So if you're familiar with the Adapt line, you love that material, you love that fit, you're probably gonna like these as well.
trying to bake that bread right now. So overall, the leggings held up great. The waistband did not cinch in any of my exercises. There was no slipping or sliding. I didn't feel like I had to actively pull the leggings up at all. So other than the cardio, maybe shifting them around, basic weight training, even doing RDLs, anything where I'm hinging at the hips, it was fine. There was nothing sliding around. And even with squatting, with the material going over my joints and my knees, I didn't feel like anything was pulling down. So with weight training, I have no complaints. The only little nitpicky thing I would have is that I have a slight muni butt. So just a little bit of help in between would have gone a long way with this legging. So as you can see, not entirely squat proof, but definitely gym friendly if you wanna wear a nude seamless thong. Standing in the black brief, you're fine. Completely opaque when you're standing. It's when you're squatting down low, so when it shears out a little bit. I prefer the shorts a little bit more. Number one, I feel like with this pink color, the shorts just, they make sense. Number two, I feel like because there's less fabric all down the legs, it makes it easier to hike these up and give better glute enhancement. So I feel like the material is working within my glutes better. There's just less material that you have to sit here and mess with. So there's no wrinkling or bunching. And now my glutes look a little bit more defined, don't you think, wouldn't you say? Always. They're eating up a little bit more material. And that's always the goal, isn't it? It's like hungry, hungry hippos. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you can really shimmy it up, squat down in it, and it just, it looks better. It just makes my glutes look plumper. So the shorts over the leggings, in my personal opinion, the only downfall to the shorts, they roll. They're high rollers? They're high rollers, all right. Oh. Whoa. Do some Bulgarian split squats. I do feel like if it's leg day, they're really stretching around, doing some mobility training, you're gonna see some roll up here. These are fairly short shorts. I've seen shorter, but I've definitely seen longer. That's what she said. I prefer longer lengths, so I do wish these were like an inch or two longer. That's what she also said. But if that doesn't bother you, then these are fine. They do cinch a little bit though. I will say that I'm not gonna size up. Sometimes I size up to a medium and tight fit shorts. I would not do that with these. I would stick to my true size because I wouldn't want extra material here and I wouldn't want a looser waistband either. This is perfectly fine. If I were to size up completely, this waistband's just gonna be a little too loose and then I'm just gonna be sliding and I do feel like it would definitely gape. Right now, squatting around, there's no gape, but if I sized up, there would definitely be some kind of a gape happening on this waistband. Whatever the size you naturally go for say the camo and the adapt animal, you can stick with that size with this. Curious to see how this light pink holds up with some sweat. Okay, really heavy dripping sweat. Is it sweat proof? Holy crap. Damn. Nice. Okay, I'm seeing a little bit pop up in the waistband. That's nothing though. But that's insane that this paler pink shade is seeing none of it. And all of the sweat was dripping right here. So it's actually fairly sweat friendly. When you say it's pretty sweat proof? Oh yeah, for sure. Holy crap. So very good in the sweat department. I will say the leggings overall, they're not thick, thick like the camo. Similar material, yes, but they don't feel as overly thick. But then again, it has half the jacquard print than the camo. That jacquard print, man, that adds a lot of weight to a legging, a lot of density. This legging is definitely made for more powerful movements where you're looking to sweat a little bit and not feel overheated. Sometimes I overheat in the camo, but when working out in those leggings, I felt fine the whole time. So very breathable, great for working up a sweat, for sure. Okay, you guys need to comment down below. Which do we like better, the pink or the black? The black is much more subtle. You don't notice the contour as much as the pink, that's for sure. It's a light gray color. It's like an asphalt gray against the black. So it's barely there. If you're looking for something more subtle, definitely go for the black. I do feel like the, first of all, this legging is blending right in with the dumbbells. Can y'all even see it? I do feel like the black definitely feels tighter. Not overly tight where I feel like I need to size up a full size, but noticeable right around here. I feel like there's a little bit more compression than the pink. If throughout the video you saw a camel toe, <laughs> it's not actually a camel toe. It's my underwear. 
I decided to mix things up and I went for a more narrow underwear. So the cut is just, it's not wide enough, put it that way. <laughs> and it's tighter, so it's digging naturally. And you can see it through the leggings. It's not being caused by the leggings. I don't want you guys to get it twisted. In fact, let me go commando and show you guys. Okay, so I, <laughs> Bay, you can say hi, it's okay. You're not gonna get in trouble. Hi, Bay. Get out of here. <laughs> now, I went completely commando just so you guys can see. It's really good. Eh, no underwear. <laughs> well, you can see the freaking dig lines from my other underwear, can't you? What's really great about this type of legging, no camel toe when you go commando. I noticed that the Adapt collection is really good in this department as well. It's nice to see that this new Mad Seamless is the same way. All right guys, so what are our thoughts on this new Mad Seamless collection? If this is in fact part of the Apex collection, by chance, then I really love the direction they're taking with it because I'm pretty positive the last Apex drop was in fact the Limitless. And if you remember the Limitless collection, it was very hit or miss. I feel like this is a step in the right direction when it comes to these kinds of styles. They still tried to mix it up with the heart-shaped design on the back. So they're always looking to make things stand out from one another. They're never completely replicating the same thing over and over and over again. That's what I love about Gymshark. They're always looking to try new things. They're not afraid to experiment, different styles, different fabrics and things like that. So I really think this is a solid collection. Check out my link tree where I'll have everything linked in different categories. So you'll find my Gymshark album, my Gymshark favorites, Bay's Gymshark favorites. You'll find everything in my link tree. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you found this video helpful. We'll catch you in our next video. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.